And funnily enough, they did another study, which I think they did not just shrimp, but other, you know, worms and other things and found the same thing. So yes, the pesticides are bad for the shrimp. But I imagine the cocaine isn't doing, <laughs> doing them any favours either. What about the wee then in the London uh, area? Well, what, what was the analysis I tell of the you wee? what's interesting about that. So, it, what they what they've done is they've done these tests in countries and capital cities around the world, and um, London is way above any other capital city in terms of the amount of cocaine that is 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 in is in the system. I can't, off the top of my head, tell you how much it is, but it's this, you know, it's a significant amount. We, we, what we did was we, we went to a flour mill to kind of give ourselves the rough idea of what it would look like a day's amount of cocaine, and I can kind of show you. It's, it, it's, it's a big cone of about. If I were to stretch my hands to either side, it's like that. If you were to pour flour in that. Wow. And of course, that's not including all the cutting agents and everything else. That's pure cocaine. So that's yeah. London's daily use. Good grief. Daily and then, use. Yeah, yeah, extraordinary. And um, what's, but what's really interesting is that London, um, over sort of the last sort of five years, has sort of plateaued. So it hasn't gone up. No one's particularly caught up with them. But what they have done is, that, for example, they do a test in Bristol. And Bristol's uh, cocaine use has gone up fourfold, I think it was. The, the amount that they were finding in the rivers in a roughly sort of four or five years. So there's been a massive increase in Bristol. And obviously, we don't do these tests in, these tests aren't done everywhere. And I did try and see if we could get them to do the tests in other cities, but it takes, you have to get everyone on board, you have to get the water companies on board, you have to get the council on board, and so on and so forth. So they weren't able to do that. But imagine if they did do the tests in, you know, in Ipswich <laughs> and in, you know, Bury St. Edmunds and any any of these towns. And what it shows is that the drug markets are probably moving out. Mm. London plateaued. And that's what Saturated, that's it? been the experience of the gangs and the kids in London who are selling these drugs. Mm. And we've seen this increase in knife crime on the streets in London where there's lots of crossover and people are getting stabbed and the, it's getting more and more brutal. And essentially what County Lines is, is an extension of that brutality from London to the suburbs, the villages, the, 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 the smaller towns and cities. So yeah. um, that's actually that strange water test mm. actually shows us what's going on in the country. Yeah. 